Tifa has been trending for three days. Mama's milk, mighty fried, suck it, suck it, long time. Mm, am I supposed to do you Get that lady that front of you? My mom, I need my mom, my Be oh my, reach for the sky. Bounce up and down, GTO pie. ESG can't get too far, but Big Titty Tifa's a superstar. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> My name is Kyle. And you can't say chai tea. That's like saying titty. I only ever wanted to entertain you, so without wasting your time, I believe Tifa wins game of the year if, in six words, bathing suit wearable at all times. It's that simple. People accuse us of being a coomers, but what really arouses people like me is talent, passion. Stellar Blade will inevitably end up collaborating with Near Automata to include 2B as a playable skin. A safe bet since Yoko Taro approves of Stellar Blade and Kim Hyung Tae, CEO of Shift Up, a well young man if I must say, already has 2B in his other game. Nikkei got us a victory, the one raking in millions monthly. He said in an interview in response to potential Nikkei collaborations that, quote, Yes, of course, if that's what the users want, then we can do anything that will please them. It's like they want to make you happy. But again, until these things happen, you know, talk is cheap. Square Enix can do the same thing, though. You know, listen to fans. Seems like some of this that's going on is probably a reaction to all of those NFTs that you tried to use. Oh, please. It's a reaction to Forspoken that sucked my big old D. But Alex said he liked it and designs were too gay. But for me, said no way. Not getting my money today. Suck my balls. It's so crazy. Pretty, busty Tifa, as she was originally intended and designed, a wonderfully feminine, yet tough, femme fatale, has gained all of the positive attention and appreciation that optics like a release of a game could hope for. Did you learn that from Stellar Blade? Am I having a reaction that you're expecting out of me? We love her because contrary to feminist, activist, and Hogwarts legacy boycotter beliefs, these people do not speak for us, nor do they define what we like. The modern audience does not exist, and what you have to force in the way of a new normal so hard that you're unironically saying shit like new normal, of course it won't stick. Stop trying to make it happen. Make it happen in your Fruit Loop little circles that don't have enough people to actually purchase anything to make your garbage products lucrative. That's why you're ruining everybody else's shit because you can't make anything for yourself, right? Oh, you guys are going to rewrite history because the bar got to be extra low for you dyed-haired, fat, old, and ugly fucking out-of-touch losers who think that entertainment is your platform to lecture with a lesson that you think is like super interesting and modern and wait until they hear this, but in fact... It is stale, tepid, milk toast, irrelevant, kind of naive as well. Some of these goblins are best summed up with the phrase, a shame. The lazy writing, oh, you're going to make all the men insecure? My God. So look, the triggered developers that need to slam the door on the past because it offends them. Nobody's sorry. You get what you deserve. Learn a goddamn lesson for a change. You probably would have by now if, like the bitch you are, you were capable of learning new tricks. But you're not. And that's our fault? Bitch, it ain't our fault. How transparent you want this shit? You want me to just narrate reality? Because that's what y'all been having a problem with is the motherfucking truth. People don't like your new cancer, so you could try to tack it on this one element. But really, it's a death by a thousand cuts, most of which are woke. But this image sums it up. It doesn't matter how hard you and the fart huffers have hyped it up in your echo chambers. People prefer what the men who weren't hung up on race and gender and politics mixed up. 
it is more popular, it is more profitable, and it's secure enough in itself to cater to the audience who's mature enough to not need sensitivity freaks forcing what people liked before you touched it through your strainer of political correctness. I wanted to make uh, it a feminine character, so to be feminine I had to exaggerate feminine characteristics. Everything about um, Lara was to exaggerate her female-ness. And yet, this is what Lara Croft has become, masculine, with the big-jawed Phoebe Waller-Bridge needing to come out well ahead of the show to make it abundantly clear that the big breast, one of the few things specific to this character, would not be available because you want that and we're not going to give it to you. Yet we are expected to give you our time, attention, and money? Hmm. No. So the same out-of-touch, dildo-writing, nitwit dweebs that hated humanity so much they needed to be told with their gay asses that Captain America is supposed to be beefy? You know, muscular? He shouldn't look like an NPC? You know, he's a cis white man, so of course they're mad at him because divide, divide, divide. Ugh. So I memed and covered extensively. Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics, the cesspool calling itself a studio. And just like then with Sushi Squad now, people can barely get on to play. I, what, do you, what do you want me to say? As usual, I didn't need people to agree with me at the time to be correct and I don't need it now. Studios like Crystal Dynamics and Rocksteady are now hollow, flat-chested husks of the former studios that have hemorrhaged talent like menstrual blood that they wish that they could manage. Okay? Women are something they fetishize and fantasize about, but in their jealousy that begets hatred, they have decided to man the women up. Nice and masculine. They claim inclusion, but are careful to extract, downgrade, and exclude beauty. And they know damn well what beauty is. To the point where Tifa and Eve of Stellar Blade, simply being attractive, breaks the mold so defiantly, with so loud a shattering, that they're like unicorns. It's been a while. It's been almost a console generation or two. When more is revealed and you fully understand their laziness, you will see how much beauty hurts them. So these creeps need to do this kind of thing to what was previously a femme fatale. They choke stories with stale, strong woman trash because pretty and honestly effort is taboo in their circles. Feminists, activists, your ideology as it pertains to your injection of it into video games, come on, we see you now. We see you now. Your biggest mistake was trying to socialize ugly as the only option because you stinky crease California brained cum gargler's thought everyone was as big a friendless fucking loser as you fart hopping writers, designers, and developers were. We ain't you. <laughs> the future is a competitive space. And to quote a line from a Verhoeven movie, bitches leave. Oh no, Vice is shutting down? Wake me when it's Kotaku, because I've got the perfect song lined up, you know what I mean? And if they strike me down, I, I, I've got the other people ready to, to let you know nobody liked you, you know? After gaining the world's attention with a mold-breaking pretty woman for a change, Final Fantasy still holds the crown for the number one MMO in the world. But here comes some dork saying that this is what he thinks the game is meant to be like. Cause they always telling people that the video game should be something other than the developer's vision. Cause you know better than them and that's why you write for this dog shit publication. Of course, he's white, which I wouldn't normally mention, 
because race mentioning is like their thing, hyper-focused on race all the fucking time. But I feel the need to imply it because you are flexing what power you think you have with the spam and the political correct shaming and guilt tripping to insinuate that the game should be a way other than what it is because what? It's more than just your opinion when you're poisoning the fucking internet with this dog shit that people would have trouble sifting through were they to look something up. The people they're running their mouth to are successful, something they can only dream of. So yes, I felt inclined and do frequently feel inclined to tell these people to shut the fuck up. Of course, it's Kotaku. You know what I mean? So their own comments were putting them on blast. So they have to take out what they know people like and only dangle what they hope will get you through the door so they can inject all of this garbage in the words of Brian and Tahar verbatim. If you give these people power like Insomniac, they'll overcomplicate something as simple as allowing people to play a Spider-Man in a fucking Spider-Man game. You let these people in, they'll try to take the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park. They're gonna rewrite a language? Even even in the midst of the deafening roar of protests from the people that they are calling a slur because they fucking told them, don't call us Latinx, but you do it anyway. Even one of the sensitive activists that worked on the garbage that Warner Brothers is embarrassed of, called Sushi Squad, can only ever focus on race. And guess what? Your game's trash. It's obviously woke, pandering garbage on top of the type of game that nobody wanted. It's a, you know the remaining activists at Rocksteady can barely keep this motherfucker. Uh, look at the look at this. This is one of their echo chambers. Well, you are, I um I don't need to talk anymore. The pictures do the work, and the messengers whom you wish to shoot because the truth is 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 what it's ruining your ability to keep a job. I'm the person that's the problem, not you failing to do what the fuck you were supposed to be doing. This is the same dude that blocked me back when he was accusing POW World of cheating because, and it's just a success that gets up their ass. They don't care about this bullshit, but anything doing better than they think that it should? Jesus Christ, fire these ethics departments, these censor happy pricks that are ruining your fucking video games. Maybe you'll turn a profit. Can you believe that? If we wanted a lesson, we certainly wouldn't be seeking it in Escape Entertainment, only to find out that it's made by some dimwit that was hired because of a quota or a box that needed to be ticked. The same group of Kool-Aid guzzling dimwits that have been filling your head full of this fucking nonsense that kept you from getting the kind of attention that Tifa is receiving now. Four days Tifa's been trending. Attention seekers who have never had a personality of their own will reveal to you based on how they react to this, how they speak, who they are. And spoiler alert, who they are is dictated by the highest bidder, by the most attention that they can get. So the same people who were passionately pushing against Something as simple as visible cleavage or a tight waist. They're suddenly going to be championing. Oh, I can't wait for this. And I laugh as hard as when I would watch old people forced to talk about Gangnam style. These normies now trying to recognize reality like they haven't endeavored to avoid it up until now. But it's relevant now, so they'll chase it, because relevance is what they chase. Lick them boots, and I hope you manage staying part of the in-crowd. You're all victims, of course. I talk to you from a demonetized channel that I ask for likes on strictly to <laughs> spread the message. I ask for subs on so that you don't feel alone. You're not alone if you agree with literally anything that I've been saying that it now seems safe to talk about. Okay? But the truth is all I can ever be is honest, which means that the cult will have me run off the internet because with their hypocrisy before me, I'll remember this. 
I needed you to see their hatred for me in regards to what should have been harmless information. Four years ago, I covered Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers, and my coverage will reveal how rocksteady today Crystal Dynamics was then. Four years ago, I'm challenging Epic Games on how lacking Battle Royale is, specifically in the body type department, because the girls got up here one way, but all the dudes, just like pop culture, and these entities have been pushing what teen means down, 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 down to the point where what was okay for Arkham in a teen game is now too edgy for a mature game. And if I may be so blunt, they got the ESRB writing shit like deep cleavage in the warning for Stellar Blade. You know, the men are damn near in Speedos exclusively all the time. So yeah, I'm fine with whatever people want to call me because the exposure of this hypocrisy and the information resources that I am sowing across the internet right now in the hopes that in the future when they're relevant and people have finally caught up, they can act before it's too late. What is too late? It's when Google AI refuses to show you white people because it's designed to be biased by racists who don't see revising history in their cults idea of utopia as offensive, but it is. And it reinforces racism and tension, and I needed to fucking stop. Just like an extremely ugly fucking iteration of Tanya in Mortal Kombat because you need the women to look ugly now. Fuck you, you are reinforcing the racism, Ed Boon, because you got that ESG claw and those gnarled fingers up your ass piloting and puppeting you too late is when nobody can talk about the coof that's killing people on YouTube because any of us speaking on it is apparently disinformation. We need to be on the right list of people who are allowed to talk about it. Censorship, frankly, runs so rampant you don't get notifications for what you're subscribed to on platforms like this, but it's just a glitch. You're randomly unsubscribed, but it's just a glitch. Your comments are auto-filtered, but it's just a glitch. An AI will refuse to show you what specifically is historically accurate in the way of information, but it's just a glitch, right? They need to snuff your light out because they operate best in the dark. I do not apologize for resisting this division. It is no less sexist when they're targeting exclusively the men. It is no less racist when they exclude the whites. Saints Row is a lesson for the gaming industry. Avengers and Sushi Squad is a lesson for the gaming industry. We are at Tifa now because your response to Stellar Blade and your response to Forspoken was a lesson to the gaming industry. Beta tester, I do not believe the cancerous woke nightmare gets to be a cloud casting a shadow over what we consider mature content much longer. No, Sweet Baby does not belong near shit made for grown people. It's honestly so bizarre because Sweet Baby represents the history rewriters who understand their best audience is impressionable kids that they can use as an army once they've indoctrinated them into their fold exactly what the leaked inclusion video that Sony dropped said in the first minute how wonderful a tool at reaching even younger people everything that they make is. I only wanted to share some games with you guys, maybe stream some anime as part of a gay little club. I'd pay Fortnite to sit in a in a lobby with you guys with my Fortnite skin and emote like Mystery Science Theater. Us dorks were not safe from these fucking people talking about objectification but only exclusively for the women and it's only ever a discussion for ugly people who never date both sexes of course are now and forever going to be objectifying one another it's the way of things how ugly do you have to be to think you can change that funny that it took men joining your side to give you enough balls to ruin entertainment for a decade but women are back on the menu, and they can either get with that program or DEI trying. 
I didn't even get to what I wanted to talk about today, but probably would have got me in trouble anyway. Love you. It was a fun birthday. And I hope to just impress you guys this year, you know? Drop your cup sizes, clear out the wish list, just buy everything on it. Everything on the... Get me a new computer. Shame somebody into doing that. Doesn't that work? What if you did it for a decade? I'm kidding, you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want your leather studded kiss in the sand. I want your love.